Police in Denver released a surveillance photo Tuesday of three people in full face masks who are suspected of starting a house fire that killed five family members, including an infant and a two-year-old. The August 5 fire killed Jibril Dial, 29, and Adja Dial, 23, and their two-year-old daughter, Khadija, as well as Jibril's sister, Hassan Dial, 25, and her infant daughter, Hawa Bey, according to NBC Denver affiliate Kusa. Three people who were also inside the house at the time of the blaze were able to escape by jumping from the second floor, Kusa reported. The fire appeared to be deliberately set by three unknown individuals, wearing dark hoodies and full face masks, who fled the area in a dark-colored four-door sedan the police wrote in a statement, asking for help identifying the individuals. A $14,000 reward is being offered for information that might lead to the suspects. The victims were members of Denver's Senkalese community, and local and national Muslim leaders called on the police last week to investigate the fire as a hate crime, according to Religion News Service. This loss has left a huge void in our Colorado Muslim community, the Colorado Muslim Leadership Council said in a statement. We call upon the Denver police and Denver fire departments to expedite their arson investigation and bring those responsible to justice. At a press conference days after the fire, Musa Dial, a family member, pleaded for answers. Just help get this resolved, because this just hurts a lot, losing your family, all your family at one time, he said, Kusa reported. That was my family, my everything. It hurts, it hurts a lot, just to wake up and lose your family like that. The only thing that can give us peace is to be able to identify the individual that did this horrific crime and brought them to justice. Jibril Dial immigrated from Senegal several years ago, according to Religion News Service. A Gotham for the family described him as a young man with a promising future in civil engineering who has left behind a community that he so deeply loved and cared for. He was working on a project reconstructing a portion of Interstate 70 in the Denver area, according to Kusa. Senegal's consul general flew to Denver from New York in the fire's aftermath at the request of his country's leader to meet with the victim's family, according to the Associated Press. The president of Senegal, Macky Sall, tweeted his condolences to the family.